Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. You know, in our efforts to keep uric acid uh, in, uh, under control, the recommendations are, of course, be careful about the type of alcohol that you consume, uh, be on a diet that really limits your consumption of fructose. And we've also talked about purines, these uh, breakdown products of DNA and RNA that can raise uric acid as well. We find high levels of purines in certain foods like uh, organ meats, kidney and liver, and certainly in small fish like anchovies and sardines. But there are high levels of purines, or there are some vegetables that are described as being high in purines, and they have familiar names. Uh, things like cauliflower, broccoli, um, bok choy, and mushrooms, for example, have high levels of purines. And you might find online, for example, in some of the forums related to gout, that there are recommendations that, that gout sufferers, that's a disease characterized by generally high levels of uric acid, should avoid purine-rich vegetables. And uh, gee, that's taking a lot of seemingly good food off the table, especially things like broccoli, the cruciferous vegetables. Is that really a, a good idea? Let's take a look. Let's unpack that a little bit and see what the science tells us. So again, the question is, should we consume high purine vegetables, vegetables like broccoli? I mean, all these years we've been told, gosh, broccoli is a superfood. We want to increase available sulforaphane in the body, any number of things that we were told uh, is good about broccoli. And it turns out uh, that it's really valuable to look at this. If, if broccoli is high in purines and other vegetables are high in purines, like artichokes, leeks, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and spinach, uh, what does that tell us in terms of dishes like this, which I have to admit looks really, really good? So are we to abandon high purine vegetables because of their uh, propensity, possibly, uh, because of the high purines to increase uric acid? Does that stand the test of science? And in fact, it's been looked at quite extensively. This is one uh, study that uh, is entitled The Association of Dietary Intake of Purine-Rich Vegetables, like broccoli, like mushrooms, Sugar-sweetened beverages and dairy with plasma urate in a cross-sectional study. And what these individuals who did the study looked at, uh, they had uh, just over 2,000 participants, about 44% female, so the rest male, and they gave them a food frequency questionnaire so that they could determine what they were eating and they also measured their plasma uric acid levels. So what are you eating and what is your uric acid level and what did they find? Well, they looked at both men and women and they stratified these uh, individuals based upon, uh, in this case, they did a lot of evaluation of these people, but they looked at them in terms of their intake of what are called purine-rich vegetables and correlated that or compared that to their uric acid levels. Now, women in green, men in blue. What you see is moving from left to right, looking at the, the green bars, the women, that the higher levels of eating purine-rich vegetables on the right side, quartile number four, these are the people, these are the women who have uh, the, the greatest level of purines from vegetables consumption. Look at their uric acid level. It's, in fact, the lowest... Men have, in general, a higher uh, uric acid level, but nonetheless, those men who ate the most of those uh, purine-rich vegetables that I just mentioned, the broccoli, the cauliflower, the leeks, uh, the mushrooms, etc., these uh, men had, in fact, the lowest uric acid level. So what did we learn? We learned that the findings of this study are in agreement with another study in which they evaluated uh, 47,150 people and did not find an associate, association between eating these vegetables and risk of gout, which is a disease characterized in general by a high uric acid level. Further, they stated, our results reinforce concerns about the validity of recommendations uh, to restrict intake of uh, purine-rich vegetables, uh, such as asparagus, cauliflower, beans, lentils, and spinach in gout patients. What they're saying is that their results would indicate that, in fact, gout patients should be eating these higher purine vegetables. It turns out they're good for you. They're good for you 
according to their recommendation if you have gout, and I am uh, certainly going to indicate that they're good for you, whether you had, have gout or not, but if your uric acid level is elevated, these are good choices as it relates to the foods that we consume. So what we've learned then is that uh, though these vegetables seem to have higher levels of purines, uh, they don't tend to be associated with higher levels of uric acid, and certainly they don't tend to be associated when they are consumed with higher risk for gout. Why might that be? Yeah, they contain purines, and purines are broken down to uric acid, but they contain other things that help to lower uric acid, things like a dietary fiber, uh, various bioflavonoids that can inhibit the enzyme that makes uric acid called xanthine oxidase, maybe a little vitamin C that may aid in reducing uh, or aiding in the uh, excretion of uric acid and hence helping to keep the uric acid level lower than it otherwise would be. So the, the end of the day recommendation is that these are good vegetables for us, like them or not, they're good for you. Uh, even if you're trying to gain control over an elevated uric acid. Good information. hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed spending time with you, and I'll be back soon. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Bye for now.